welcome to the Zane Frame. What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to another episode of the Zane Frame, where I will not say anything political, I swear. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just start talking about things, and it's kind of... I have a difficult time letting things go. That is something I definitely need to work on. But I'm let here I am. It's, it's, it's gone. I let it go. It's like a balloon flying through the heavens. Oh, balloon. Tell me all secrets. See, why do all the fucking... Oh. Okay, so they must have... Because I think when doors are, are coated black, they have the... the They used to have the, the missile shield on them. So I thought maybe it still had it on there. I'm like, well, no, because I know it gets a safe angle before. But I guess it just never changes it. Like, even once you've blown the, the, the hatch off, it still shows that it once was. It was kind of weird. Whatever. Let's see. Okay, so this door... Oh, there is something in the dynamo I need to get. Because it had a spider tra... Oh, these... Okay, I forgot about the mushrooms. But... <laughs> What is this, Mario? Wrong, wrong, wrong series, Nintendo. <laughs> oh, at least I'm not that pedantic. If I'm using that word, I think I am. Is it focusing on things that aren't really all that important? I don't know, I don't have my, I mean, I have my phone over here, but it'd be kind of rude if I, fuck! If I just paused the game and started looking up words in the dictionary. Fucking, you know what I kind of miss for the stupidest reason, phone books, because I there's that whole like he could rip a phone book in half. And you're like, oh, well, at least when you're a kid, you're like, oh, it's that's crazy. How do they do that? Well, I figured I I know how they do that. I didn't figure it out. Someone just straight up told me, or I heard it somewhere. I, the point is, I didn't figure it out, and so now I know how to do it, but. There is nary a phone book to be found to demonstrate my ripping prowess thereof. So that makes me a bit sad. But also, fewer trees are getting killed for something we just don't need anymore. So, yay! Fewer things to get rained on and forever ruin. You're just like, well, I guess we don't have a phone book. I don't know, maybe we could reorder one. I don't know. I was a kid. I was still not the, the master of my... Ha oh, oh well. I was just bitching about not having enough missiles in that room, so maybe this is a good thing. Um, yeah, I was not the master of my living situation when phone books were still a thing. So, ne I, that was never my deal. That was just a thing that showed up that I might bring into the house when I was a young and when I was a young boy, and my father would take me into the city. And he'd say, stop staring at the goth kids, son. You're making them nervous. <laughs> Can't you see they're in a band? <laughs> oh, carry on. Oh, to relive the stupid... Day. Well, I don't know how to call them stupid. I mean, I was stupider back then, but... Back in the days when just, like, I was a teenager. I hadn't experienced a lot of shit. You know, you don't... Like, emotional death tends to come with experiences. Like, something like evokes some kind of, you know, something in you. But, like, when I, when I was a teenager, I, could, I would sometimes legit cry at fucking Black Parade. Or Welcome to the Black Parade. Whatever the fucking name, the full name of the song is. And it was like, okay, yeah. Like, it was just so touching. And now I'm just like, oh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's still, does it still work? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You know, like, it's still a good, good... I still like it. It's still a decent song. It doesn't have the... the pathos that it used to have. You know? Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay. Oh, shit. I should want that. Alright, maybe this is gonna be the last episode. This one or the next one, because the second I start thinking, like, oh, I should watch that, that means, like, alright... <laughs> I might not be giving this 110%. <laughs> Which is what you find people deserve every time. That's actually kind of the biggest reason I have for um, lacks of, lack of episodes sometimes. Is that I just feel like if I'm not going to fucking bring it, you know, I'm not going to be making like 
quality content that I'm proud of, why even bother with it? Because this isn't my career. I don't make any money off of this. I mean, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there are no ads on the Zane frame, at least as far as I know. I don't monetize a damn thing. I tried to when I started out, but it got way too weird and difficult, even back in those days. And <laughs> when I was like first like, got some views, and I realized, like, oh, this is going to be, like, friends and family, and maybe, like, three... Fuck, what do you want from me? And maybe, like, three random people from the internet who watch this. Like, it's like, oh, look, this month I made a cent. <laughs> I was like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I'm not going to make any... What? What? What do you want from me, game? Like... Anyway, I thought if I'm not gonna make any money off of it, I may as well make it ad-free. So, screw it. This is a hobby. I'm having fun making this, and I hope anybody watching is having fun uh, seeing it. Doing it, I... Mm. There is no benefit for me to fight those. There's also no benefit for me to scan these, but whatever. Habit. Force of habit. What's coming next? Because at first I thought it was going to be the uh, the flamethrower boss, but I think I've already done that. I think I've already fought the flamethrower boss. Was it, did it say unusually cold temperatures or just unusual temperatures? Antichamber. Oh, shit. Maybe that's going to be where I get the fucking freeze beam. I don't know. Here's a white door. The evidence. It's compelling. Which doesn't mean a whole lot nowadays, but it still means it to me. Okay, no political. Okay. <laughs> yes, scan. Pavlov demands it. I cannot pass something without scanning it. Especially when it's all... Ooh, with a mystical force field that disappears after I scan it for some reason. Cordite. That's super missile. Correct. Oh, right, it specifically has to be the this. What the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> well, it seems to have been activated. Oh! Oh, I just needed to scan it. Okay. <gasps> Spiderable. Okay, so, oh, okay, I need to. Because there's a half pipe. Rock the half pipe. Higher and higher. Whee, yes. Blam. What do I win? Oh, goody. <laughs> oh, more of the same thing. Yeah. that would actually be fun to do in real life. I don't think I've ever been on one of those, like, swinging ship rides. I was a pansy as a kid. Ironically, the only, um, like, carnival ride or whatever that I would ride that I would never ride anymore now <laughs> was those fucking, um... It was like a, like a carousel, but you were in, like, these little chairs that would spin you around. Like, suspended from chains, and you were just in chairs. And I was like, yeah, this is fun. But now, I actually I actually enjoy roller coasters, for the most part. I still hate the first part, where you're really up high. Where you're higher, the highest you'll be the entire ride. Like, the loop-de-loops, the whatever the fuck, those don't scare me. I'm fine with that. It's the ch 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 part where you can fucking see all of creation at the crest. I, I don't much care for that. <laughs> if they can make... Roller coasters that don't do that, I'd be pretty fucking thrilled. But, I don't know. I think old ones don't do that much anymore, but... Well, I mean, they don't do much anything anymore. They're old. But those usually suck. <laughs> like, that was something I learned the day that I rode roller coasters for the first time. I was like, wow, like, the, the metal... The metal twisty, turny, loopy-loop ones are actually kind of fun, but these... Old ass wooden ones hurt everything. <laughs> oh no. Oh, is this. Yes, it is. It's Chozo Ghost time. Oh, I hate these things. And they're gonna start showing up everywhere, too. They'll be just. Sink, just having a good time. 
singing along, and foot bam, Gozo goes, and they never go away. They will never go away. They're just here forever. Okay. I'm gonna start doing If I remember correctly, there's a visor you get that lets them lets you see them easier. But who knows when that's gonna happen? Who knows? Someone who's played this game recently or has a better memory than I do. Probably. <laughs> they would know. But that's just a theory. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never stop doing the voices. At least I'm doing it for like an audience, <laughs> not just in my room. <laughs> Fucking practicing whatever voices pop into my head. Oh, oh, wait. Is this save or... Oh, I think this is a refueling station. Well, maximum missiles. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. And, like, super bombs, I think, when I get them. Is there another? Huh. That's not... Well, I'm getting close. Yeah, I think, given the, the, the rate of, of white doors, I'm thinking that's what's going to be in that chamber when I get to it. Oh. I don't know, I really like music like this. I like Gregorian chants. Like, some people find them creepy, but I'm just like, uh... That sounds nice. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, shield online, window secure. Well, unsecure it. I'm gonna spank you with my sorrow. <laughs> Fucking... Alright, well, I... I know that statue has to bowl me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> I must have some kind of command console for it. I don't see anything. Oh. Oh? oh? Hmm. Well, let's just see what happens when I get in the hands. Because I don't think any it's going to do it. It's just going to, like, fucking toss me. There we go. A oh, fucking... Fucking... It's times like this when I miss the jump ball from the 2D Metroid games. Cause that was handy. Keep bowling, 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 bowling. Oh, okay. It doesn't want to get dark again. I don't want to fight more ghosts. <laughs> the only friends of the spiders what laid eggs in the eye socket. Uh, oh shit, that's gonna end too. Final Fantasy VII Machine Abridged. I mean, thankfully it'll like, you know, they're on their, because their last season's kind of, they've got to go just go, go fight Sephiroth, do some side quests and fight Sephiroth. Fucking like, that remake's kind of, oh, I wonder if they're going to try and coincide it with that. That'd be interesting. Oh man, I guess I'm going to play that remake. Don't know why. The only reason I say I don't know why is because I just, like, well, I tried to 100% it for the first time, but I ended up not being able to fight the ruby and emerald weapons because of a scratch on the third disc, which would make it just crash randomly. <laughs> it was a miracle I was able to get all the way to Sephiroth and actually beat the game. Because I think I didn't do it as a kid, come to think of it. I know I got two Sephiroth, but I can't remember if, as a youngin, I was able to beat him. Probably because I was kind of stupid when I was really young, and for some reason, it didn't click to me that you should probably not run away from as many encounters as you can, so you can actually make your character stronger. I just figured, it's like, this game's hard. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Oh, how the times have changed. Oh, damn, they are changing. Oh, I need to actually watch the HBO Watchmen show. It seems I did. I mean, I've read. I read the comics for the movie came out. Pretty much, I only read the comic because the movie was coming out. I was one of those, one of those guys behind the times. Whole thing. 
Oh, okay. I need to blow it up. Uh. Hey, oh, that's gonna be interesting to see in the editing. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I could not hold it. Oh, at least it doesn't hurt to sneeze anymore. Fucking okay. So now, yes. Okay, so now it's a half pipe. Okay. Up, oh, up. Oh. Boom. The big pal piz out bang a dang biggity diggity boom diggity boom kaboom the big bizang. The big pal piz out bang a dang biggity diggity boom diggity boom kaboom the big bizang. If you're a nerd. <laughs> And you want to hear some raps about science done in the Stephen Hawking robot voice? I've got great news for you. <laughs> MC Hawking, look it up, find it. It's good. It's a good time. Hold on now. What about inflation? That's a little tricky. And you can use some explanation. <clears throat> Hold on now. What about inflation? That's a little tricky. And you use some explanation. I don't know how that sounds. <laughs> We'll see. And if it sounds really shitty, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about because I'll just delete it. <laughs> I, nah. I do some half ass voices on the show, but that feels like one that if it goes wrong, it would really go wrong. I don't know. People I talk to in real life seem to enjoy it, but I don't know how the fucking um, microphone's gonna pick it up. I do not know. I know I've tried to do it on the show a couple times, but that was before I'd really gotten the hang up. No, I don't want to go to another world. <laughs> no. I will not go. Let's see. Oh my god. Also, <laughs> speaking of. No, not really, because MC Hawking songs are fucking awesome. Um, but speaking of weird things, there we go. Um, but not awesome. Um, look up. It's on YouTube. In its entirety, it's a movie called, I believe, ooh, yeah, it's the freeze ray. We got ourselves a freeze ray. Um, it's a movie called Killer Bean Forever or something like that. It's a 3D animated movie about, like, coffee, anthropomorphic coffee beans and organized crime. Y yeah, 3D animated. Yeah, there's more of it, coffee beans. Organized crime. And there's, like, one guy who did all the voices. And one of them is trying to do, um, Tony Montana from Scarface. His name is Cappuccino. Just, I don't know, check it out. If, if you've got some time and some kind of substance to ingest in one way or another, I would also suggest that. Um, I'm not, I don't regret seeing it. But I'm not happy that I did either. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, so now I got the freezy. Well, I passed up all those doors on the way here, though. But there's two elevators taking me. I mean, I guess Town Overworld's kind of the first place. Eh, may as well. May as well look around. Boom. Oh, blow up. Ice makes them blow up. It's because the force of it does. The force makes the nitroglycerin plants, whatever the fuck they are, unstable. Freeze the plant! Blow up the plant after freezing. Oh yeah, aren't these the ones that like die from their own ammunition? Fuck, what? What? Oh. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh. Oh, sweet irony. Seems like bad. Seems like that's a, a poor evolutionary path that species has gone down. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they have something adaptable, but being able to have their own shit thrown back at them is not a trait you want to pass on. <laughs> you typically want to be, you know, able to process the things that come out of your own body. Oh, hey, June. June in the house. June, daughter of Jane, mascot of the Zane frame, who has not appeared in any actual art for the channel. But she's usually there when I'm recording. 
<laughs> Jane, titles, titles, title. <laughs> oh, I miss liking Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, boy. I blow this up. Fucking... Is it this I can blow up? Yeah, it is. Oh, the weakness due to water. Oh! Bendesium. Alright. I think this blows up Cordite. Uh oh. Well, shit. Well, it's about that time anyway, so I will figure out what the fuck to do, and we will do that next time on the Zane Frame.